Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My beauty room is finally done, or as done as it's going to be for right now. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. Let's get into the tour. So welcome to my beauty room. I wanted to do something a little bit different, not just all white. I wanted to be very Pacific Northwest inspired, lots of wood, plants, all that good stuff. I found this little wicker basket chair from a boutique called 1910 here in Vancouver. The pillow is from there as well. And then I just got a cheap little um, like fake fur kind of fabric thing to put on the bottom so it'd be comfier. My desk is custom made from a place called Union Wood Co. here in Vancouver. They were great. Um, I wanted it to be a warmer wood so it's made out of walnut. I wanted something with a ton of space, but still something that would look good and be in my style. I love these drawers, they're perfect. They have nice soft clothes, which is awesome. And I love the fact that I can pull them out entirely and get to the very back, whereas on my Alex drawer, I kind of missed that space in the back, which was really shitty. So this is my little art corner. I commissioned one of my favorite artists on Instagram, her handle is Four Fires, to just do some pieces for me. And she did such an amazing job. I love them so much. I really like that she incorporated some kind of natural elements to every single piece. We have like crystals and butterflies and um, some plants and waves and stuff like that. So I just think they're so great. And I just wanna say a big thank you to her again because I love them. And then of course, you guys know I love my city, so I wanted to include my little map of Vancouver. I got this from a store called Parliament, and then all the frames are just super cheap from Michaels. So these are my little pencil holders. I picked them up from Anthropology. They're actually for putting candles in, but I just thought that they worked great and they just kind of look really cool and unique, so I like those a lot. And then for my brush holders, I picked these cement pots up from 1910. I wanted something with a little bit of different texture and color because everything was getting super warm toned. So I just thought these added a nice contrast. I have candles all over my house. I'm obsessed with them. I have a ton of different brands that I like, but one that I'm really obsessed with right now is this company out of Whistler called Hollow Tree. They're handmade by this girl and they all smell like nature. It's so nice. If you guys follow me on Periscope, you know I'm constantly listening to music and I wanted to get a stereo that didn't look too techy and I found this at Best Buy, of course. And it was so perfect, I love it. It's called the Marley, it's Bluetooth connectable and then you just charge it and you can take it off the wire so you can put it anywhere, which is so great. If you guys haven't figured it out by now, I really like to have plants around. I always keep ones that are super easy to maintain, like succulents, I also really like air plants. Uh, for these, I got these little atriums from Anthropology, and then I just filled them with some black rocks and then I put air plants on. I got them from Figaro's Garden here in Vancouver. They're so nice and helpful. And then this is my little lighting corner. My prized possession of all time, aside from my plants, is my little Lush sign. Um, you guys know I'm a huge Lush fan and uh, an awesome employee made this for me when I was at the Lush Showcase in London. So thank you again, Lush, because I love this so much. And then this is another one of my little plants. I love this kind of plant. It's called a Dracaena. It's super easy to take care of. You need to water it basically like once a month. And then I have my little lights. So these are my Kino Diva lights. I have the two of them. They're super bright. They work great. They have a ton of different controls that I don't know how to use. And I just stack them one on top of the other and that's how I do my filming. Here's a little olive tree that I can't keep alive for the life of me fucking thing. And then I have these little globes that are all over my wall. I got these from Parliament as well. They're super lightweight, so they hang really easily on a nail. And I just filled them with easy plants, like air plants. Uh, I have a little devil's ivy, and then a fern, which will trail down as well eventually. And then I have my little jade tree, which was the last edition. So these are all from Parliament, and they're made by this guy called Kermode Living Art. And he just does such incredible stuff in these really cool planters. And I just love them so much. So this concludes my beauty room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so happy that this room is finally done. I'm loving it so much and I just feel like it's the perfect space for me. So thanks for watching. So that is everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below. I'll get back to you and I'll be doing a collection video for my next video. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Keep them peeled. All right, guys, peace out.